Our mutual fiend. Alex, Dr. Freeman, you made it. Hey! Boy, are we glad to be here. Yeah, we heard you ran into a little trouble out there. Combine's been trying to hit in the front door. <laughs> I think they learned their lesson. You mind if we uh, keep dog patrolling out here? <laughs> Not at all. You heard him, dog. I'm gonna go see dad. I'll catch up to you later. You take care of yourself. I don't think Eli knows you're here yet. He's in Silo 1 access unit, right through here. Shall we? Tá, olha só, mano, que legal. Uma base segura. Ah, não é mais segura. Caramba. Outro alarme falso. Oh, meu Deus, quando tiver alarme real, ninguém vai acreditar. Olha só quem tá aqui. Hey, Gordon, man, you made it. Dad, Alex. I was so afraid I wouldn't see you again. There, there, sweetheart, we're together now. That's all that matters. And look at you, son. I knew if you both stayed together, you could get through anything. Yeah, we make a pretty good team. <laughs> Com certeza. Well, that's good because, well, now that the Suppression feels down. We all have to do our part. Dad, can you blame an old man for wanting grandkids? <laughs> que isso, o cara tá jogando ela pra gente. <laughs> Dad, it's not what it looks like. I'm fine. Are you sure? Shouldn't we have that looked at? Really? I'm fine. Uh, where's Dr. Kleiner? We should get this data to him right away. Uh, okay. Yes, yes, we should. He'll be glad for a chance to get out of the silo. This way, Gordon. The way he and Magnuson have been going at it, you think they were still competing for grant money. <laughs> <laughs> Some things never change. <laughs> Do we have any idea how long until the super portal's active? We don't know for certain. We're keeping an eye on it. And what about the Combine? Will we be able to launch before they attack? It's going to be close. All it would take is one strider to destroy our rocket, but we're ready for it. I'm sorry we couldn't get here any sooner, Dad. Don't worry, sweetheart. We're gonna make it. I'm just so glad to have you back. I'm glad to be back. Oh, era aqui que o Jimen tava, né? Caraca, mano. Ele tava aqui, exatamente nesse lugar. My dear, what a relief. Not to mention a delight to see you here at last. And Gordon, I see you in the HEV suit have taken excellent care of each other. <laughs> They're inseparable. The data, people, the data. Kleiner, are you going to sync up the satellite? Or should I postpone the launch to make time for a family reunion? All right, all right. All right. I was just saying hello to Alex and Gordon. Oh, fine. No one grants me a moment's peace, but by all means, unroll the red carpet. Good grief. I only meant they might. I know, I know. Oh, Nossa senhora, foi empurrado. Now, my dear, where is this data packet you've been carrying? If I delay a single moment, I'll never hear the end of it. You have my word on it. It's right here, Dr. Kleiner. We've got a ton of data. The strange thing is, it was all attached to a transmission from Judith. Transmission? From Judith? Do you mean the message didn't get through? We've got to see this right away. Just let me start the decoding process, and then we can view it in the auxiliary control room. For God's sake, hurry. Yes, yes, of course. Another alarm? Oh, what next in a parade of constant interruptions? Hello, hello, is anyone there? Anyone? Dá pra descer aqui? Hopes, alarms all day. Damn crows. Eu acho que agora não é alarme falso mais. No, how am I supposed to concentrate with all of this racket? Freeman. Freeman, you're not doing anything. Make yourself useful and find out what the hell is going on in there. Não tô fazendo nada de fazer nada, é isso, né? 
I'd feel better if they had a look. Catch up with us when you're done. Okay, Tona. Yella. The blast doors will have sealed due to the alert, so you'll have to go through the bottom of the launch tube. I'll open this hatch to let you down. Now, once you're down there, I'll have Uriah let you into the secondary silo. Ia lá, meu Deus. <risos> Calma, cara, meu Deus, seu cara Tô apressado. Meu Deus, a gente tá descendo cada vez mais. Mano, o bicho tá varrendo até. As ideias. O bicho é mó poderoso e o cara fala... Vai varrer, vai. Pois é, o cara é mó... Esquisitão, sei lá. Meio de mal com a vida, parece. Oh, o cara tá usando... O bicho tá vestido um jaleco agora. Tá o suficiente. Uh, uso inautorizado do, de emergência. O ride will be deal with Summarily. Doutor M. Que é aquele cara lá. O Magnuson has instructed me to admit you into the secondary silo. The secondary silo can be reached through here. Tá que curioso, bicho de jaleco. <risos> Ai, caramba. Aí, agora mais um alarme. Calma, cara, meu Deus do céu. Tá, silo número 2. Ih, caramba! Meu Deus do céu! Preso aqui. Caramba, sempre tem esses caminhos. Meu Deus do céu. Uma bagunça aqui já acontecendo. Ai, caramba. Tá, aparentemente eu vou ter que ignorar os bichos. Vambora. Oi. Caraca, resistente, hein? Ok, 
que menos um. Boa. Meu Deus do céu. Tô sozinho. Todo mundo morreu. Nossa, olha quanta coisa tinha aqui. O que, que é isso? É um motor? É um motor. Tá, que eu acho que a gente podia ter simplesmente vindo aqui direto e vazado, né? <risos> Ou ia ser pior. Meu Deus, levei tudo na cara agora. Acabou da minha munição. Meu Deus, eu tô sem vida. Meu Deus. Tá, agora vai. Espero que vai, né? Foi. Tá, aqui eu acho que não tem nada nessa sala. Ih, caramba. É óbvio que vai estar tá quebrada as caixas. Ó, oh, escada, né? Não caixa. Boa sorte pra... Boa sorte pra mim aqui na água. Tá, calma lá, cara. Tô tentando sobreviver aqui primeiro. Meu Deus do céu, muita gente. Nossa, 
Nossa, não para de descer. Meu Deus, parou. Jesus. Como eu morri. Mentira que não entrou. Ah, bem. Eu errei as três. Não, não é possível. Acertei, finalmente. Mas quase morri também. Meu Deus. HP. Deus, mas o cara tá falando ainda. Meu Deus, o bicho ali. Ok, fechou. Não! Não morri, o, bicho, o cara me curou ainda. Meu Deus do céu, o negócio não rola. Mano, quase morri. Mentira, eu morri muitas vezes, né? Melhor dizendo. Obrigado. Sim, Alex. Está tudo bem? Sim, E a a The Freeman must follow. Ok, vamos seguir ele então. Tô seguindo. <risos> Calma, cara. If you would take the Freeman from here, I can return to my place of honor at the side of the Magnuson. Sure thing. Thanks for the help. Dr. Kleiner told me that Judith headed north in a helicopter right after they got here, but he wouldn't tell me why. Tá, eu sinto que a gente tá bem no final do jogo. Talvez tipo seja a última cena agora. Ela tá no lugar nevado, olha lá. Caralho, 
I'm gonna cut this short, we may have been spotted. I should never have let him go. There was no stopping her, did I? Wait a moment. There's something else here. It's Borealis. Borealis. Good. Epture. <gasps> what? The Borealis? It's real? Oh yes, quite real, despite its almost legendary stature. Our peers at Aperture Science were at work on a project of some promise, but in their rush to beat Black Mesa for funding, they must have compromised ordinary standards of risk. We heard their research vessel had simply disappeared, vanished with all hands, and even part of the dry dock. Few believed the Borealis would ever be seen again. It should have been lost forever. Ah, but now that we've found it, we can use it against the Combine. Did you- Use it? That thing has to be destroyed. But think of the advantage for humanity. We can't simply waste all that potential- Has Black Mesa taught you anything? There's no controlling that kind of power. Well, yes. There's always a risk, Eli. But my goodness, we have coordinates, blueprints, hailing frequencies. Quite ingenious of Dr. Mossman to hide it all in the carrier way. Well, that means she's still alive up there. But if the Combine catch her, they'll tear out everything she knows. There'll be nothing left of her. But we don't know for sure I won't that... take that chance. I'm going after Dad! Her. Now, Eli, the only thing worse than Judith falling into their hands would be if they should get a hold of you. She may know the particulars of the Borealis, but you, you know everything about the Resistance. Listen to Dr. Kleiner, Dad. Gordon and I are more than able to handle this. We'll get her back. Kleiner, where are you? Why isn't the decoding finished? Oh, fine. The code. Yes, Magnuson. It just needs a little bit longer. You're waiting for the Combines. Go ahead. They'll soon be here to give it to you in person. I'll hurry along, Magnuson. I'll be back as soon as I finish. Caraca, mano, é Pure Science, Borealis. I can't let it happen again. Not another Black Mesa. A ver outra Black Mesa. Prepare for unforeseen consequences. What did you say? Dad. <gasps> okay. Ela disse. It's okay. Just, just lean into me. Let's get you off your feet. Thank you, baby. I'll be fine in a minute or two. Okay. Do you need anything? Actually, Alex, would you... Would you mind getting me a cup of tea? There's a hot plate in the old staff room. I'll be right back. Gordon, keep an eye on him. We're, we're not going anywhere. Thank you, baby. Ah, meu Deus. Ela foi sozinha pela primeira vez, né? Tipo. É, então ela falou a frase. Não, todo mundo conhece o G-Man. Quando ele cristal, eu sabia. Eu deveria ter teste, mas. I didn't. The whole world went to hell that day. And now, now he's using my little girl, putting words in her mouth. God damn it. I should have known when he rescued her it was for his own damn reasons. Gordon, there's so much I need to tell you. Between us, we may finally have a chance of, um, ah, voltou. Não deixou nem terminar de falar. Oh, Markson. All right, people, change of plans. There is no way we can launch before those striders are. Oh, oh, excuse me if I'm interrupting tea time. I'll just step out until you've finished, if that's more convenient. All right, honey. Well, Freeman, I believe I've found the perfect use for you. Follow me, quickly. Meu Deus, perfeito uso. We'll talk later. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Ok. Dá sim, bora. Freeman, 
Striders are coming. A single one of those damn things could shoot down our rocket. We don't dare launch until all Striders are destroyed. Now you've proved yourself capable, and the staff seem to respect you. Therefore, I'm putting defense of White Forest and this ingenious new weapon of mine in your hands. We Nossa, que que é isso? Device. Not my chosen label, you understand, but it seemed to please the personnel. Now look lively in there. Warm up the delivery port. What you say? Now what it is is a sort of sticky bomb. Um forcing consequences. Sound. From your point of view, you merely pitch the device at the Strider's hull. Then blow it up. I've struggled with a mechanism for launching the device, but well, your zero point energy field manipulator clears up that little problem. Now follow me and we'll let you get in some practice while we still have time. Tá, tem uma placa aqui falando, ó, um, pega esse negócio, dois, pega na na gravity gun e três, jogue no bicho e depois atire. Out in the field, we'll supply you with all the Magnuson devices you need through delivery ports like this one. For the safety of the base, these devices are deactivated. They cannot explode like those you will find in the field. Go ahead and take the device out of the dispenser. Now you'll... That's right. Now toss it at the main body of the Strider. Good. Now... Take out the firearm of your choice and shoot the device. There you go. Ah, not too difficult at this range, is it? It's a bit harder when it's moving about and firing at you, of course. Now, let's move on to a more challenging task. Uriah, send the target to the far end of the rails. Nossa, mano, olha isso. Lugar tudo pra treinar, só. Nossa, passou longe. A bit more challenging at this range, isn't it? Tá, dessa distância ainda não precisa calcular tanto assim a distância. Droga, precisa assim. You can see the magnesins are fragile. They will disintegrate immediately if they miss their target. Magnificent device, isn't it? I'll be right over here when you are ready to head up. Tá, vambora. Had enough? Sim. Your car is fueled and ready to go. Now, every building in the valley has its own dispenser port, so you'll have ample supply of explosives. Now, I must get back to my rocket, Freeman. I'm relying on you not to squander my trust or my magnesins. Oh, and Freeman, if you pull this off, I might just forgive you for that debacle at Black Mesa. You know the one I mean, involving a certain microwave casserole. Mentira, que era esse cara aqui. <risos> Ele que tava esquentando o negócio no microondas lá. Oh, God.